We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. I just said that, Drax. If your voice is small and mousy, I think maybe he didn't hear you. Ah! You're coming with us as a Christmas present. Can you talk to me a little bit about your pitch from James Gunn to appear in the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special? He didn't have to pitch me very uh, hard. Uh, you know, he, I, he just said, I have this holiday special. It's going to be with the Guardians. What do you think? And I said, I'm in. And so I didn't really read the script. I just said, oh, yeah, that sounds great. In fact, I don't even know whether initially I knew if I was playing myself. I'm trying to remember because it's been quite a few years since since the, the idea first arrived. It took some time to get it off the ground uh, because of COVID and other kind of things. And, but yeah, I was, I was thrilled when I read the script. And then, you know, when he later on told me that I was also going to sing, I was like, this is really fun. This is kind of the culmination of a joke from a, a very long time ago in which Chris Pratt called Footloose, the, the greatest movie ever made. What was your reaction to the original joke in the Guardians of the Galaxy? Well, you know, I my jaw just dropped because I didn't know that it was in there when I saw it. I went to the movie not knowing anything about that. So if you can imagine sitting there in a dark theater and all of a sudden hearing yourself name dropped in that kind of way, it's, it's a very, very, very strange experience. But cool. I mean, you know, I loved it because uh, I love the movie. And, and you know, it, there, there is something that's kind of like symbiotic about the whole thing because James really loves music and you know Footloose was a, a music based movie I walked out of the theater and, and called my wife and I said you know I, we're gonna get we, I'm gonna go back and see this movie it's a great movie and, I, and there's a little you know surprise in there for you James Gunn took over DC Studios that was a pretty surprising news what was it like hearing that he was leaving the MCU so soon, right after you worked with him. Uh, listen, I, I, I'm, I'm not surprised. James is a is a powerhouse. He's he's incredibly, you know, he's just got a great voice and a great eye. And he's super smart and and obviously makes very very successful movies. I was thrilled to hear that he got a next his new gig. That's basically what I said. I'm thrilled to hear about your new gig. I don't know about a sense of finality, but uh, all these people have kind of become a family, right? Like, I'm curious what the mood of, on the set was uh, looking ahead to that. Well, I don't know, because whatever the mood was, it was interrupted by the special. You know, like I said, that was that the special was like a party. Uh, mm -hmm. And even the people see, I had nothing to compare it to having not been there before. But even the people that I worked with said, this has been so much fun. This is like we're we're just having a blast and then finally you got to play alongside james gunn's band the old 97s what was that like it was great the old 97s are fantastic they're uh so much fun and and you know i think all the music in the movie is 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 great it makes it great uh i i put, I put the when i got the script um he had referenced all the tunes so I immediately made myself a, a, a playlist just to kind of feel, you know, just to feel the vibe of the whole thing and listen to it a lot. And it's it's great. And I love the old 97 song. Uh, you know, it's 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 really hard to write a new Christmas song. And and I think it's it's got a really nice combination of sweetness and sentimentality without being like a corny kind of take on, on Christmas. And it, it's got a, you know, it rocks and I, I love it. 